Good morning and welcome to Make Up With Me, to the show where you get ready with me in the morning before work. But that is not what we're doing today because I'm not going to work. I am off work and excited about it. So we're going to do a simple, just like a five minute makeup routine. First things first, sunscreen. I usually start every day with my beloved Alpha Beta Peels from Dr. Dennis Gross. So I'm skipping it just because I've been pretty consistent about it and also because we're doing more of a five minute routine. So any of the extras that I can cut out today, I'm gonna do that. Milk Hydro Primer. It is a clean beauty product. And since we're doing kind of a light makeup day, we'll stick with that theme. All right, I'm doing a really, really small pump of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This stuff is really, really good just to even out skin tone. It's buildable if you want more coverage, but I'm doing very light makeup today for my five minute get out the house routine. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of concealer and I'll press that in with a wet beauty blender. I'm gonna seal in that concealer with my Laura Mercier under eye brightener, like so. That'll kind of mattify under the eyes. Even on your five minute routine, the place you're not skimping is your eyebrows. Eyebrows frame the face. We love a brow here. I'm using the NYX Brow Mascara because my eyebrows are super blonde. The dye has pretty much worn off from the last time I dyed them. So we're gonna give them a little bit more color to make them look a little bit more full. I'm adding in a little bit of eyeshadow primer. This is just to hold on the barely there eyeshadow that I'm about to put on. Okay, so I just took this uh, neutral skin, my skin tone all over color and put that on the lids. I'm not really trying to add any dimension here. That's just to kind of seal in the primer. I'm gonna use this shade, which is sort of a neutral taupe and just build a little bit of a bridge here, kind of like where you would traditionally put your transition shadow. I don't really even want it to be super noticeable when I close my eyes. I wanna just build in like a little bit of a hood here so it looks like there's a little bit of dimension so my eyes don't look as flat. And then I'll go in with my angle brush. I'm gonna use like a mix of these two medium and tap that off really good. And I'm gonna draw like a little, little baby wing. All right, so that just creates a little baby wing and helps draw the eye up when you're looking at me head on. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of contouring because I didn't do any like, shading or dimensions with my foundation. I mean, I, I want just like a little bit of shape on the face, even though it's a light makeup day. See, that already gives some dimension with kind of like very minimal shading there. So it already gives me a little bit more of an angle. And then I'll use a powder brush that is empty to just buff that out. Another powder brush and dust a little bit of bronzer on the neck just to blend that in. Very little. NARS powder blush in Orgasm. I'm partial to liquid blushes, but the ones that I have are a little bit more pigmented. And since we're going for pretty light makeup today, dust over some Laura Mercier setting powder over everything just so that it can help catch any of the oils throughout the day. The Refi Illuminator, dab this on as a highlighter. And I'm just gonna lightly do so because I don't want super sharp, dramatic brows today. Just And then I'll seal these with some brow gel. Um, so obviously I'm doing a pretty light makeup look today, but tomorrow's stream, I'm going to do like a really detailed how-to, like my full face makeup. Nude truffle is gonna be a good iconic nude dupe. So well, let's see. Just the liner itself, like not filling in. That's, that's very close. Tomorrow when I film a bunch of content where I do half the lip in fancy brand like the Charlotte Tilbury's, the uh, Pat McGrath liners, and then try to find the dupe in the drugstore NYX brand and show them side by side. So I'm gonna add my Fenty by Rihanna dip clip. Pretty translucent, as you can tell, didn't really change the color of that too much, but it comes with a cool clip that you can clip onto your pants if you wanna wear a beeper or something throughout the day, it's up to you. It, I, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I don't even know how to store it. I'm like, does it go in my drawer? Do, am I supposed to wear it on my pants? Thanks so much for getting ready with me. If you want to see a full glam look, be sure to join tomorrow. I mean, I'll be breaking down basically every part of my makeup routine, start to finish, in step-by-step -step tutorial. So, all 
All right, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and follow so you can get a notification of when I go live. And I'll see you tomorrow.